welcome dear friends today we are going to see introduction to filtration so filtration it can be defined as a process of separation of solids from a fluid by passing the same through a porous medium that will retain the solids but it will allow the fluid to pass through it so now if we look at this diagram carefully this is the slurry or this is the mixture of solid and liquid and this filter paper it act as the filtration medium so when we pour this mixture over this filter paper the filter paper it has the capacity to retain the solids and it will allow the fluid to pass through it so thus in this conical flask we receive the um, clear liquid or we can say the filtered liquid okay so this is the actual process of filtration now there is another process called as clarification now let us see what is the difference between filtration and clarification so clarification it can be defined as it is a process which is carried out when the solids they are present in very low concentration that is the concentration of the solids they do not exceed above one percent weight by volume then the process of its separation from the liquid is called as clarification. So we can say that clarification occurs when the solid content is not more than 1% weight by volume. When the solid per solid concentration is more than 1% weight by volume, then the same process will be termed as filtration. Now let us see the different terms used in filtration. Suppose this is the uh, process of filtration going on. So now if you can see here, this is the solid and the liquid mixture. Now this is poured on this filter paper and the filter paper is rested on this um, funnel. And this is the conical flask which receives the filtrate. Okay, so now let us see what are the different terms used. The first term that is used is the slurry. Now slurry, the suspension which we want to filter that is termed as slurry. The filter medium, it is used for the process of filtration. Hence, it acts as the porous medium, which will retain the solid. Hence, it is called as filter medium. Now, the filter cake, okay, it is the accumulated solid on the filter paper or on the filter medium. So, the accumulated solids, it is called as the filter cake. And lastly, the filtrate is the clear liquid which we obtain when the slurry is passed through the filter medium. So these were the terms. Now let us see the process of filtration. Whenever we have to carry out a process of filtration, we, we should make sure that the pores of the filter medium, they are smaller than the size of the particles to be separated. Next, the filter paper or the filter medium is placed on the support or any kind of mesh. Then the slurry is passed over the filter medium Due to the pressure difference across the filter, fluid flows through the filter medium and gravity here, it act over the filter medium and because of this pressure force, the process of filtration gets completed. Now let us see the mechanism of filtration. So the mechanism of filtration is of four types first is straining it is very much similar to sieving the particles of larger size they can't pass through the pores next is impingement the solids having the momentum they move along the path of the streaming flow and they strike the filter medium next is entanglement the particles they become intertwined twinned in the masses of the filter paper and last is the attractive force the solids they retain on the filter medium because of the electrostatic forces which develop in between them now let us see the applications of filtration the first application it is it is used in the production of sterile products like hepa filters or laminar air bench they are used for purification of the air and also membrane filters are used the next the application is it can be used for production of bulk drugs then we used a, use it for production of liquid dosage forms. And lastly, it can be also used in the treatment of effluent waste or wastewater treatment. Now let us see the type of filtration. There are basically two types of filtration. The first is surface or screen filtration. So it is 
screen filtration or surface filtration is a screening action by which pores or holes of the medium they prevent the passage of the solids the mechanism involved here is training and impingement for this uh, plates with holes or woven sieves they are used uh, efficiency is defined in terms of mean or maximum pore size the next step is the depth filtration in this type of filtration the slurry penetrates to a point where the diameter of the solid particle is greater than that of the tortoise void or the channel through which the slurry will be moving the mechanism over here predominantly acting is entanglement the solids they are retained with the gradient density structure by physical restriction or by adsorption properties of the medium now if you look at this carefully this is the surface filtration here the solids they are not moving through the pores but they are get retained on the surface of the filter filter medium hence here the mechanism of action is mostly impingement and straining now if we see this depth filtration here this solid particles they are moving inside the pores or the voids right so here the main mechanism is entanglement so this is the major difference between surface and depth filtration so this was just a slight introduction to filtration thank you for watching